Love family. Here we are with our yellow squash and veggie lasagna. I've added some oil in the bottom of my small lasagna pan. And I want to state that I'm using green lentil bean lasagna. I got this from Whole Foods and it's an amazing lasagna an amazing lasagna with this type of lasagna I want to tell you that it's important to have enough liquids so I'm just going to add a little more oil olive oil on my shells this is yellow squash that I've taken an apple peeler peeled off the skin and now I'm just going to strategically place it. You can do flat strips if you want. After I got down to the seeds, I started adding, I started cutting. I began to cut the circles into thick pieces. I'm only going to do half of the lasagna. Here's broccoli and great tomatoes. I steamed these broccoli and I just cut the tomatoes in half. I'm going to save the rest of this for the second half. Black beans. I'm going to add black beans to this. Make sure you use the juice. You want to use the juice. Doesn't that look colorful? So I'm going to pour some of this juice so that my lasagna shells, they get incorporated. You don't have to use black beans. You can use anything that you have in the house. I've taken these carrots and I've diced them up. This is like my first layer. I want to add some more things to this, like mushrooms. Making sure to use that juice. And I'm going to add here some salsa. Medium chunky salsa. Make sure that's all covered. I'm adding the juice of some pickles, bread and butter pickles. And I'm also going to add a little Mediterranean seasoning sauce, garlic powder. Italian seasoning. Give it a little Italian taste. And oregano. Oregano is really good for your body. It's good for you. Lastly, I'm going to top this with cheese. I'm using some crumbled shiva today with tomato basil and that looks delicious that looks delicious i'm going to put some kobe cheese on top of that and that's what my first layer is going to be i'm going to do the same exact thing and layer up my second layer cheese always goes last so remember to put the cheese there and we'll be back to show you what the product's going to look like before we put it into the oven yeah, that looks good and cheesy. I like that. There's a way you gotta flip that so that part goes down. I usually press this in too. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep this in the oven at 350 for about 35 minutes. 
45 minutes. Share the love. Our vegetable lasagna is ready. Before we eat, we just want to bless y'all with a little something, something different. Welcome to Share the Love. This is a new segment that we have called Around the Table. Every family should be coming together eating around the table. This is where we just want to, you know, talk to you know things about issues, about our lifestyle, about why we eat and who we are. I have observed my mom for years and having coming from a family of diabetes. I've seen family members literally die before their time. In the African American community, diabetes and high blood pressure is killing us. Yes, it is. Killing us. And my mom really developed a passion to eat her way to heaven instead of eating her way to death. So really this keto 
partial keto lifestyle is really helping the way we eat. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't eat fully keto. I have a combination of things, family, that I do. When it comes to desserts and eating foods, I, I really do try to eat much healthier. I like keto, but there are some things I like about it and some things I don't. So I do a combination of things. When I want desserts, I'll bake and I'll eat keto because the ingredients that we use, tell them about the ingredients, Jeremy. We try to focus on fresh ingredients as much as we can. And usually if it's fresh or frozen, healthier the better. You know, some cans, if you can, sometimes that keeps longer. You know, but the more fresher, the more greener, and the more colorful the dessert, or I mean the colorful, you know, the meal and the dessert, because if you get some good fruit in there that's colorful, that's awesome. So the more colors you have, the better. So I want to tell you, I am, um, after my pregnancy, I, I had gestational diabetes during pregnancy and after which diabetes remained. My mother died of diabetes. My father died of diabetes. At least five of my siblings uh, passed away at very young ages. My, my, my youngest sister passed away very early in her 20s. I had other sisters that died in their 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. So this is my passion. You know, my son never lived to see his, his grandmother never lived to see him, nor his grandfather on my side. And what, a, what an awesome opportunity he missed. So this is why we do share the love. And we just want to really thank all of you for subscribing. And we want to thank all of you uh, for tuning in and taking your time to, to watch us. What kind of impact can a mother and son have on the world? We really believe that we're going to have a tremendous impact. I don't know of any other mother and son duo that love to cook and eat. My son is the best baker that I know. And he, he challenges himself. And all of the things that we cook involve monk fruit sweetener, classic brown and white, ethanol. We don't use white flour or anything. Today's meal was prepared with green lentil lasagna shells. There is no white flour or anything. Black beans on a bed, you know, of kale and carrots and fresh broccoli. And there are just so many awesome things in here that's really delicious and fulfilling and good. We don't just cook good. We cook good, healthy. And that's, that's our slogan. That's important. So before we start, you always want to get around the table and pray. So we're going to pray for you as we pray for this food. God, I pray you'll bless every family in the name of Jesus Christ that's watching. I pray that you will give them more time around the table to talk about where they want to go, who they want to be, and who they want to become. So I pray you will bless this food, sanctify and cover it. And I thank you, God, for everyone around the world that's sharing the love with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's amen. cut into this. Amen. You. Mm. Mm, yeah, that's good. Mm. That's like a, a pizza. It's so Italian. I taste all the Italian herbs that she put in there. Very nice. Mm. Squash. This is how the squash bakes up. It tastes like there's meat in here somewhere because of the way the texture of the squash and the lasagna is. But this is a meatless recipe. It is. Mm. What I like about this recipe is that 
it will not spike my levels. It will not spike my levels. So, bon appetit. We're really grateful for you. Without you, there would be no us. Without our Facebook Share the Love family, there would be no us. Hit that like button, subscribe, subscribe. and share it. Because we have more roundtable discussions. Like every family should. God bless you. God bless. Oh, look at the carrots. Mm. And the tomatoes. Delicious. And burst in your mouth right when you bite it. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Share the love. I love it. That's good. Good video.